Now there are two. There are three endings to Dishonored. There's one that you get if um, well, there's a low chaos ending. Now if you uh, if you if you reach this right. island, the low chaos version of the stage, you're locked into that ending. On high, in the high chaos version, there are two possible endings you can get, depending on the outcome of a okay. depending on the outcome of a particular event that we'll encounter at the very end. Fairly soon here. And that det- so in lo- in low chaos you get the good ending. In high chaos, what you do at the very end determines whether you get the bad ending or the worst ending, basically. Sleep dart. I was hoping he'd pitch over the side. <laughs> so bad. Did the city get any worse? Yes, of course. Don't lean on the railing like that. It's... Hey, at this height, that's just asking for it. Yeah. And by the you, we are going to show both endings. Oh, excellent. I don't think I've seen the worst ending. This will be new, then. Yeah. I know you're here somewhere, scum. Got you now. I have you now. When I find you, it's going to be bad. <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> oh man. Remember what I said about the, the level two wind blast? That's what I meant. Yeah, I guess it's proximity. Well I think it's probably it's also partly that I hit him he hit that uh that railing with the multiple bars. I think it's like they hit stuff and like the yeah. physics like just tears their body apart. Just physics that body up. Yeah, that's pretty pretty horrendous. Yeah. Lots of sneaking around the side here. It's a very different atmosphere when you're here on low chaos and the sun is out. I imagine. Yeah, the, doesn't the uh, if I remember right, the the like landscape looks much nicer. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like you're in Mordor in the low chaos version of this level, basically. <laughs> really hot. We've both talked before about our shared dislike of heights. So that light is just a static light. What light? The light at the top of this lighthouse. Uh oh, look at this. Quiet now! And move already, child. Why would why would he be taken? Let's see. Let's I know what we can do let's do. And that's where the, um, that's not where the bodies of the other conspirators are. On low are, chaos is it? it is, yeah. Yeah. And that's also where, where Havelock is on low chaos. Right. He's only hanging out, he's only outside on... I kind of suspect that they, that dialogue there, you know, between them, I kind of suspect they didn't anticipate that being triggered out here. That, like they, were, they, they thought it would be when you're up. Oh, they expected yeah, it would be when so. you're up close, and that was probably, probably not intentional for that to happen while you're sneaking around out on top. So if you're wondering why right. they're just locked in, you know, eternal struggle now, I, I suspect that's why. 
this is just an unanticipated contingency. Well, the game is open ended. It's yeah, hard not it's, to, hard to, uh... it's hard to anticipate everything. Notice that there's a dead made pool of blood with like a gun lying there. Mm. Possibly. Actually, we'll take a closer look at that a little later. Possibly in a different timeline. <laughs> so, do you have all three endings? Uh, no, I don't have the good ending on this recording. Nice. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I don't re recall that being there. For what the suicide? For, um, no. Man, she is putting up quite the fight. Either that, or he's being super patient. She's been struggling for forever. Now Corvo is racing towards. Ready to dash it all to bits. Corvo's going to kill you! Ha! Possibly. Corvo's killed a lot of people, but he's terrible at saving empresses. He's the worst of us all, you know. No! He loves me and he is my friend, and I am the Empress! Now! Ah! A little dignity, please. I think we'll go now. You're asking why they're out there? Into the history books together. Murder suicide. Stay where you are, Corvo, or I jump. Corvo! Ah. Slow time. He won't. Will you? I'm not sure what happened. I think that seemed like an, ac an accident of me running into him. I'm not sure that was supposed to happen. Actually, supposed to happen. You're my hero. Well, with him just yeah. popping back. That's all right. You know it's going to happen. I am going to Empress. All right. That is the end of the game. If if you rescue Emily. Special actions killed over your mark, rescued Emily. It's only 187 coins in the whole place. Killed 80 nice. 81 people. Eight hos 80 hostiles and a civilian. <laughs> All right. The end. What will history tell us? That the daughter Hostile. of the murdered empress ascended the throne up a mountain of corpses. This actually reminds me of the Marlow Briggs thing. Oh yeah, it's a certainly stylish. That's way one of the few times we see Corvo's face. Uh, I'll say that little Emily called yeah. first came to power. And there, it's and hard to dispute. Terror and corruption, and that she did her best in a world that is not kind to little girls or debauchery. Bleak. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Sam. Now that that happens even if you don't murder him. Uh, because he has the play of the play in high chaos. Yeah. There's a much older Emily. Decades later. Thanks. And you're Wow, she made your grave my, site my the murder site. Well, of... well, it's all it was the, the oh, well, well yeah. you notice that other plaque? That's the Empress's. She's already okay. Yeah. That's that's the less bad option. And Emily becomes a cruel tyrant. Okay. In the good in the good version, yeah. she actually becomes like a you know like a, a benevolent ruler. Okay. Much like yeah. her mother. Oh, possession. This is another solution. Huh. I've never thought of this. Well, the game rewards creativity. What's
Here we go. Ow. Nice. And. Oof. <laughs> nice. Thus passes Admiral Farley Havelock. It's one of the ways it can happen anyway. But yeah, that and that's actually the thing of when I uh, possessed him, he didn't even have time to try to throw her off. Mm. So normally, what happens if you if like you shoot with her, Emily starts to fall. <laughs> just just because fuck him, that's why. Emily will start to fall and she'll be clinging on, and you have a limited time to run up and save her, right? By doing the possession by doing the right. possession trick, he didn't even have a chance to try to push her off, so she was safe. But meanwhile, in right. timeline C. got stuck. Look at that. Oh. Nice. The ragdolls in this game, they can get a bit eccentric at times. Just a just a touch finicky. Alrighty. Now this time we're we're going to actually take a look inside that glass enclosed area. And it's quite swanky, as you can see. Yeah. Rose Lighthouse. Okay. It does confuse me because that lighthouse, that light at the top, is static. So this is not a lighthouse as a traditional lighthouse. Well, maybe they just haven't said it's moving yet, or maybe it's switched off. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not a yeah. lighthouse guy. Again, the Lord Regent just loves having his picture and statue everywhere. <laughs> There's a bunch of deer heads on the wall. Dead by dawn! Oh, he's a Dead by he? dawn! <laughs> Alright, now in uh, Low Chaos, this is where you find... Um, no, hey, no, hey, notice that uh, that bottle of wine and the three glasses? In Low yeah. Chaos, you come in here, you find uh, Teague Martin and Lord Pendleton both slumped over dead on the table, poisoned. And and Havelock has basically given himself up. You, 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 don't, you can actually... He doesn't resist you. Unless, well, I mean, you, if you attack him. Oh, look at this. Oh. Doll. Remember that doll from the ending? This is Emily... Okay, yeah. here's Emily's room. If, uh, this is where you find, this, or one of the rooms on here is where you find here on Low Chaos. Okay. Uh, notice that, notice there's blood. I, I don't know why there's crossbow bolts under that pillow. <laughs> You could speculate. Has she moved a mattress to the floor? I think that's... Yeah, I think so. Huh. Well, they are kind of... In, they didn't really have enough time to get set up here, I guess. Oh, look, look, ooh, blood. A lot of blood there. Yeah. wonder what from. We'll see. There's a trail yeah, of it. There's a hole. Tap to drink from, bath water to drink from. Box to shit in. <laughs> You're right, their toilet technology seems to be kind of behind their bathtub and sink technology. Yeah, like they have the ceramics, it just confuses me as to why they don't make a ceramic. Also toilet. on low chaos, like they've got this place that's like set up for like a for dinner or whatever. You know, for, you know, mm. the dinner that, you know, the, the poisoning happened at. And there is a, there's a jello that you can destroy. There's a jello right. that you can bell with your blade. <laughs> Paintings of the Lord Regent everywhere. 
Well, remember he had that side room back in the uh, Dunwall Tower that was just like a storage room for busts of himself. <laughs> That's right. He, he, he's, he's in love with his own face. But, uh, he's already commissioned a... Uh, yeah. A trail of blood. Speckles of... I mean, like I said, very swanky. You still with me, Nick? Yeah, these floors are way nicer than my floors. And, and they got a foosball table or something. Steel hot havelocks one. Was it just like pool? Ooh, audiograph. Done such things. Cowardly. Better. No, that's not how it works. Once the bureaucrats step in, everything gets muddy. If anyone ever knew, we'd all lose our heads for this. So no one can know. And could we ever control Emily with Corvo around? That's the question that sticks in my mind. We need to make our final move. We need to make it cleanly. No loose ends. Only a few in the know. The ones with the most to lose. Havelock, log entry 7. <clears throat> okay. Havelock, log entry 7. We could not have done any of this without Corvo, and for that I will be grateful. But I fear he did not have the vision to see the future we must achieve for Dunwall. We will not maintain our grip on the Empire with a little girl setting policy, and I believe Corvo's loyalty to the Caldwin women would have clouded his head. Is she truly his daughter? We will take Dunwall to the pinnacle of strength, but Corvo's role in this cannot ever be recognized. He must be vilified. And when I take the reins of the city, of the Empire, I will be seen as the hero and protector. So this seems like it was written probably before he recorded that audiograph, when he was a little more optimistic. Then after right. he had more time to brood on things. Realize the consequences. This is a lot of blood. And remember, remember this woman. Yes. Leads up to her. So is she. It look. It kind of looks like a suicide, but it seems more like it, it couldn't be because she was clearly killed indoors and dragged out here. So I'm wondering if it was like if someone was like trying to murder her and tried to make it look like she shot herself. I don't know. To what I don't end? know. It's it's never elaborated on. It's just this weird little thing you run into. That is weird. I would wonder if the maid was trying to protect Emily. That Emily. would make sense. And she was. And there was like a struggle going up the stairs. Where? Yeah, and that was where Havelock managed to find her. That makes and, oh know, that that makes well perfect sense, Nick. I yeah you're. Right. Because the blood yeah. starts in Emily's room, but Emily doesn't appear to be wounded. So yeah, yeah, they, they start fighting in there, and they're like, struggling all the way up. Good thinking. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so if you do stay there... Here come the rats! <laughs> oh, let's do this again. Ah, an encore. Okay. And now Emily is clinging on there. Press X to catch Emily. Oops! <laughs> Save Emily before she falls. Fail. And that is the other... Uh... Here we go. Got a little more money this time. Oh, Red Havelock's journal. Killed over Elmo Havelock. All right, now let's see what. It doesn't say anything. Hmm? About having. It doesn't say anything about. Well, Emily if, if you'd saved her, if you'd dying. saved her, would have the objective saved Emily. But 
All right, now, now we're going to what I consider the canonical ending of this Let's Play. I don't know about you, Corvo. Let the man speak. But I've had a lovely time. Intrigue and mystery, butchery and betrayal, the death throes of an empire. And you were an avenger. Notice this time the throne is toppled. Spreading chaos every turn. Yes. The city's feeding on itself. Well, that lady is still enjoying <laughs> champagne. And merchants and nobles. Like maggots on a car. <laughs> Soon will be nothing left for the Remember, the last time this street wasn't this bad. No one was being devoured in it. The same old yep. grave still. Ah. It's just oh, man. well. The Empire was dying already. Completely rotten. All that was needed was the right man to send it over the edge. Instead of Corvo's grave? But now, you'll be off over the horizon on an outbound ship. I wonder, are you chasing something or running away? So he still leaves, he doesn't stay. In, the, in this ending? Yeah. In the, well, the, yeah, the other, both on the other endings he stays. In that ending he leaves. Okay. Well, that is just that, that is let's play dishonored everybody i hope you uh hope you enjoyed watching it this is the yeah, this is kind that? of an occasion because this is the uh this is the first long-term project nick and i have uh completed as since the creation of this channel back a few months ago and i, I didn't know when yeah. i started doing it just kind of an excuse to screw excuse to screw around on the internet i didn't know if i'd still be doing it months later but uh, I, as it turns out, I am. Uh, <laughs> so I'd like to, uh, I'd like to thank um, uh, Arcane Studios for making this game. It's fantastic. Yeah. And, uh, what's it, Bethesda for publishing it. Publishing it. Uh, thank the makers of, uh, uh Loilo Game Recorder for, um, who I did a lot of the, the recordings with. I mean, with whose tech program I did a lot of the recordings with. And, uh, and, uh, what's it, uh, what's his name? The, the guy with the voice. Um, oh, uh, uh, the Chucky voice. Are you still well, on about this? I wasn't, but now that you mentioned, I, I would like to thank Chucky for being in the game. But, uh, what I meant to say is, uh, <laughs> I'd like to thank, uh, <clears throat> I'd like to thank, um, what's it, uh, uh, Total, uh, Total Biscuit, who's, um, video on this game was what got me to buy it in the first place. I actually wasn't going to... I wasn't oh, planning yeah. on getting this game because I didn't think of myself as really a stealth game guy, but I don't know, his video seemed, you know, intrigued me, so I thought, well, you know, I got on a Steam sale and, and like, you know, just, holy crap, it became my... the fav one, maybe my favorite game I played that year. So, thanks to him. Uh... Oh, thanks to Court... to, to uh... Our pal from the podcast, Corey Atwood, who's offhand who made some offhand remark that is what led me to create the whole channel in the first place. <laughs> um, that, of course, I'd like to thank everyone who watched. Particular, particular, I'd like yeah. to thank. Oh, you guys are all cool. Particular, I'd like, I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank whoever it is in the Czech Republic who has watched a shit ton of our videos. I mean, like there was a period like when we were just starting out when. Or not when you're just starting out, but when we were, we had a lot less traffic than, I mean, not that we have a huge amount of traffic now, but at one point he was like a total, like, like half of our minutes watched were, were apparently from, from there. So, bless you, whoever you are. And thanks to all these people, of course. I like this ending song. Which is the, um, which is, uh, which is created by, um, uh, John, and, John and Daniel Licht. Like leader father and son. Actually. You there, Nick? Well, folks, in a fitting conclusion to <laughs> some of the problems we've been having, I seem to have lost Nick. But 
I'd like to thank him too for joining me in this in this venture. And got plenty more coming up. I hope hope we'll see you again. Oh yes, I can. I, I was just, I was just, I was just about to say goodbye on your behalf, but hey, welcome back. All right, you still there? Wait, I guess not. 